hey guys welcome back to the android tips how to videos in this video we are going to see how you can solve the common problem of insufficient storage error that you may find when you're trying to update some of the apps on the play store as you can see here right here and i'm just trying to update some of the apps here i'm getting this uh, stranger like insufficient storage this device doesn't have enough space to download google drive or whatever apps it is there and you you may also get this error when you try to uh, download any software from the play store for example if i just type here google keyboard and try to download that so just click on install and see so you can see here i'm just getting this kind of error insufficient storage error we'll take a quick look how you can manually do this thing when even you're not possible to download any of the cleaner way third party apps which can do your job so let's get started and see how you can do that so the first step is to go to the setting and uh, under that go to the app section or maybe you can first go to the storage section and visualize how much the store uh, storage space has been consumed so let me give you guys a quick idea how it, this uh, things happens so whenever you install a, any app or whenever you buy any phone so let me give you guys a quick idea how this error comes so for example as you can see this is a phone called canvas turbo it has 16 gigs of internal storage so i'm taking 16 gigs of example so all the complete space has been divided to few of the important partitions like android for example if it is 16 gigs of space so uh, four to five gigs of space has been allocated for android itself some other space has been designed uh, for copying the media files for example in videos and images and some apps area for example uh, uh, three to four gigs of space can be uh, just allocated to for installing the apps only so even though you are able to see some of the free space like uh, still you can say here i got here 4.36 available gigs of available space but you may see here the same error so you might be thinking even though i have four gigs of space available then why i am seeing that error that's why i said here uh, there is a specific area for each of the android phone in which you can only install apps on that much memory data for example i'm just taking here if it is 16 gigs of internal storage so maybe this phone has only two to three gigs of space available in which you can download and install any of the android apps that's why this error is coming so you have already seen here like this is a cache data here 238 mb and apps pictures and videos and a lot of space uh, apps has installed which has taken 690 mb of space so we'll go to the app section and try to clear as much as storage as possible so these are the apps that are installed so we'll go to the all uh, this all apps that are running so we'll find out which are the apps is not uh, required for us so we will try to disable that we'll start with the first and so that way we can just clear the cache and clear the data so we will find the apps that have the most space for example we are disabling the chrome right now so you can see chrome is taking 47 mb of space so we are going to uninstall the updates and before doing all this thing let me turn off the internet i will tell you guys in the later why i am turning off the internet now just click on the disable so you can see here now this has just taking 2 mb of space because uh, the chrome whatever space they are taking it's already been uninstalled now we'll go and see this is condition when you're not able to download any of the app uh, then you need to manually clean it if there's a sim after doing some of the apps cleaning we will try to show you guys a small app that you can really use and clean all the space google play services is taking a lot of space google play music we are not using so we can simply install the updates and we can disable it and post stop clear the data so everything has been cleared now the apps that are not being used by us we can simply disable that things here so this you need to do for most of the apps since we have no even single space a kb of space you can see here a few, uh, we still have now able to see here 302 mb of memory free earlier it was just 180 mb of memory so in that way we can make a lot of uh, space that we are not really using maps as of now since we are not using we can simply uninstall the updates and make it to uh, very less space you can see here it's not taking 48 mb of memory now it is taking 47 mb of memory so the apps the idea is the apps that you're not really using you should be removing those things and uh, mobile security but this is a uh, sometimes a painful job that you need to do for each of the apps that you have and when we think we have some enough space we can download a single app which can do this job for us in a single shot so google plus we can remove as of now even if there is clear data or any cache we will try to clear everything else 
this has been disabled and we got a lot of space you can see here full and it reduces uh, 4 to 7 MB of memory and hopefully we are able to download any small app now to do all this job for us so let's try to uninstall the share it app and uh, any other app that we think is tube mate it's not needed we can uninstall that So you can see we have cleared lot of space now we will go back to uh, try to clear the system cache so simply go to the storage and you will see here uh, there is a entry called cache data click on the cache data and clear all the things so most of the things we have cleared now we will try to download uh, turn on the internet and try to download some of the apps that we can do our job We go to the play store again there is an app called app cache cleaner one tab this is a very small uh, utility app cache cleaner one tab clean so it does have a job in most of the situation just try to install maybe we are able to install this app now because we have cleared a lot of apps from here You can see we are not able to download any of the apps. We will use this sing single app and clear most of the app caches that are there in our Android phone. There are a couple of ways that you can optimize your phone to not sync this app. For example, try to install larger apps in your SD card if your phone support SD card and clear the cache uh, time to time system cache uh, and use some, some of the small utility like this app to clear all the caches here and turn off the notifications and syncing for most of the apps that you're not really using for example twitter facebook you're not using so you can simply uninstall uh, the apps or maybe you can if you are there you can simply disable the app notifications because internal background syncing creates lots of cache and data so let's open this app we'll start and see so you'll see any junk file there shows 11 since we have manually cleared most of the things so 11 we have cache free so clear all so we have cleared most of the cache i can see now we will again go and verify our storage and see how much storage is left for us so we'll again go to the settings and storage so in the settings we'll go to the storage and see so you can see we have now 437 mb of space available earlier it was 7 mb and more than that we have now 500 mb of storage space available or you can also uh, remove the unnecessary files that is not needed. For example, if you just analyze how much is the pictures and videos are available, you can clear most of the data that you really don't want. So in that way, you can uh, avoid this kinds of errors. So the simple tip is that just try to clear the caches and try to install uh, the apps that are on heavy sizes to SD card and turn off the notification on background syncing of the apps that are really not users. Disable the apps that you're not are going to use that or preferably uninstall the app that you're really not going to use it as we have seen in this way so this tip will simply solve the insufficient storage error for your problem so that's it guys for this video and if you find this video helpful hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to watch more this is sort of behind the scene and thank you very much for watching i'll talk to you soon have a nice day